wow that is so good you guys you have to try this channel and welcome to my kitchen so what we're doing in here today is actually trying to make a viral tiktok trend and that trend is the dalguna coffee this has been all over tiktok i actually see it all over youtube as well and i'm a little late to jump on the bandwagon but i still really wanted to try it because most people that i have seen make it say that it is absolutely delicious and fairly simple you can do it with ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen and i am going to cheat just a little bit and i will get into that a little later so if you would like to see me try out this viral tiktok trend then let's go ahead and jump right in okay so before i dive into the recipe i wanted to read the description of it so this says dalguna coffee is a beverage made by whipping coffee until it becomes creamy and then adding it to chilled milk so on tiktok most people refer to it as dalguna coffee or whipped coffee and i've also seen some people refer to it as greek coffee so i don't know which one it is is. I looked both of them up. They're very similar, but they're made um, two different ways. So if you know more about this than I do, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what this recipe actually is. Okay, as for the items that you need for this recipe, you probably already have them in your kitchen, which makes it really, really nice. So the first thing you will need is a mixing bowl of some sort. So this one's honestly probably a little large for this recipe, but I'm just going to use those and you could get away with using a smaller one. And then you need either a teaspoon or a tablespoon measure. I've seen it done both ways, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to use a teaspoon because it's going to be a little milder. I don't want it to be super strong, so I'm going to use a teaspoon. Teaspoon. then you need a cup of some sort I'm just gonna use this clear mug and then I have my glass straw I will link these below because I love these they are one of my favorite Amazon items so those will be linked below and then I'm also going to use this to heat up some water because you need um, two teaspoons or two tablespoons of water so I'm going to use that for that you also need some kind of milk so I'm going to use my favorite almond breeze unsweetened original and then I'm also going to throw in this um, oat milk creamer in the flavor oat milk cookie in there just to give it some more creaminess and a little more flavor and then you need a sugar of some sort I'm going to use my coconut sugar I don't have um, normal white sugar but this basically it tastes the same in any recipe so I'm gonna use that and then of course you need instant coffee so I have never had instant coffee so I just kind of guessed which one to get so this is Nescafe Taster's Choice in the Colombian and this shows that it's like medium like on the scale from light to dark this is medium so we'll see how this tastes I've never had it and then the hard part so you need a whisk or if you ha if you're lucky enough to have an electric whisk you can use that but I'm a little lazy today so I'm going to be using an electric mixer and I've seen a couple of people do it this way and they say that it works just as well or if not even better so I'm gonna try it with this so let's go ahead and make some coffee So first step is to add two teaspoons of instant coffee to your bowl. Next step is add two teaspoons of sugar. And then next you add two teaspoons of hot or boiling water. Then you're going to mix that all up with your mixer or whisk or electric whisk, whatever you have. So 
when you're finished whipping, this is the consistency that it should have a very whipped texture. And I wasn't sure for how long to go for, but I think this looks pretty whipped to me. It's pretty thick. It's not really sliding anywhere. So I think this is good. So next you're gonna grab some ice and put it in your glass. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually pour a little bit of this oatmeal cookie creamer in the bottom. And then next you add your milk. And don't fill it all the way to the top because you have to leave room for the whipped coffee. And then you're just going to scrape that in there. So as you can see, it's a pretty whipped texture. This actually looks really, really good. <laughs> So this is the finished result. So on top you can see the whipped coffee So I'm just gonna kind of mix it in or try to mix it in but it's kind of difficult because it's cold So I don't think you can really mix it in all the way until it gets um, warmer But I'm just gonna try and do some of it And if you can see that's pretty thick This looks really really good. I am so excited for this Okay, and here goes the taste test Wow, that is so good, you guys. You have to try this. I would say next time, if you are going to use creamer, just be mindful of how much you put in there because I kind of went overboard and I put a little bit of too much creamer in there, so it's super, super sweet, which I don't like things that are really sweet, just a tad sweet, so just be careful if you do that. recipe gets a two thumbs up from me a 10 out of 10 it is so delicious and i highly recommend that you guys check it out if you haven't already and if you like this tiktok trend and you've tried it already or maybe you haven't tried it yet but want to give this video a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe i make new videos every single week on wednesdays and fridays on any topic ranging from fashion to beauty to lifestyle and i would love for you to join the family and also you can easily subscribe at the right hand bottom bottom side of your screen there's a little icon click that and click subscribe and also be sure to hit that notification bell and that will let you know every time that I upload a new video so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Wednesday bye can you see that I'm trying been walking on a fine line you and me in the moonlight that's a mood